Hi everyone, I'm John Odin. I work with the development team here at Boson Software. Thanks for stopping by to take a look at this video overview of our XM Max for Cisco 64816 ICND2 practice exam. This product is an exam simulation that will help you as you prepare to take the Cisco 64816 exam. Our Boson XM Max practice exams offer extensive coverage of the topics you'll need to master so that you can be successful in achieving your IT certification goals. Okay, let's get started. First, let's take a look at what's required to gain your Cisco CCNA certification. That's Cisco Certified Network Associate certification. One way to do it is to take and pass the Cisco 64802 CCNA exam. This exam covers all of the Cisco CCNA topics in a single exam. Check out the training and certification page at the Cisco website for a complete list of the topics covered on the exam. The 64802 CCNA exam covers quite a lot of material and can be rather challenging. Another way to gain your CCNA certification is to follow the two exam path that covers the same CCNA topics but splits them across two separate exams. These two exams are the 64822 ICND1 exam and the 64816 ICND2 exam. After you take and pass the 64822 ICND1 exam, you will earn a relatively new certification from Cisco, which is the Cisco Entry Network Technician, or CCENT. After you've passed your ICND1 exam, you would then take the 64816 ICND2 exam. After you've passed that exam, presuming you've already passed the ICND1 exam, you would then receive your Cisco CCNA certification. These are just two different ways to earn the same certification. The best option for you would depend upon your level of knowledge and experience. If you're just starting out, you may want to take the two exam option. If you have more experience and are more familiar with the material, you may choose to take the single exam option and take only the 64802 CCNA exam. We build our practice exam products to provide you with the most realistic simulations available for IT certification exams. This is our exam delivery engine that we call the BOSUN Exam Environment, or the BEE. The BEE displays all of your available exam content. I'm going to select and load the BOSUN XM Max practice exam for Cisco 640-816. After the exam has loaded, you can see that this product contains three complete exams, each of which simulates the experience of taking the certification exam at the testing center. Each exam contains a selection of the types of questions that you could see when you take the certification exam. I'm going to start this exam in study mode so that I get immediate feedback to let me know if I've chosen the correct answer. In study mode, there is no timer, and I can choose to display an explanation to assist in learning the concepts covered by the question. Here we have a basic multiple choice question, the most common types of questions that you'll see on the certification exams. This particular question only has one correct answer. Other questions could have two or perhaps even three correct answers. I'm going to make my choice, and since I'm in study mode, I can click the Show Answer button to reveal the fact that I've answered this question incorrectly. I can scroll down a bit, and I can see the explanation that shows me why the correct answer is correct, and it shows why the incorrect answers are not correct. And down at the end, there's a reference that I can follow for further study. Here's another multiple choice question that has a network topology diagram that I need to evaluate as well as some sample device configuration output. This particular question requires us to select three choices. Once again, I can click the Show Answer button to reveal the correct answers. Notice they're highlighted up here as well as listed down below. I have another detailed explanation. Each of these explanations is like a mini lesson that teaches the concepts covered by the question, and there are more references at the end. Some questions are interactive in nature. In this particular question, you can see that I have a selection of choices along the left, and I'm required to drag these choices to the correct target on the right. As before, I can click the Show Answer button to see if I've worked through the questions correctly. In this case, I can see that the diagram now reveals the correct arrangement, as well as a detailed explanation that explains the correct answer, as well as references that I can follow for even more study. Still other types of questions will require us to interact with a simulated network topology. Here we see the simulated network topology that forms the basis for this question. I have several devices in the topology, and I can click on the device to access that device's console. 
once I have access to the console, then I can enter iOS configuration commands to satisfy the objectives of the question listed up at the top. In this question, I'm not actually required to make any changes to the configuration, but I am required to examine the configuration and collect the information that's required in order to answer the questions. That concludes our overview of our Boson XM Max for Cisco 64816. Thank you for taking time to review this video. You can learn more about all of our Boson practice exams, as well as our Boson NetSim Network Simulator, by visiting us on the web at boson.com.